think about what kind of creature Thomas Hobbes imagines the human being to be. It's a very strong and very particular account of what human beings are like. And in fact, Hobbes would have been willing to defend it because Hobbes believes that it's more important what humans are actually like. And he reasons from what he believes to be human's nature. And for Hobbes, the human being is a desirous creature for whom felicity, happiness, is the continuous progress of desire from one object to the next. In 1930, the very beginning of the Great Depression, the very famous economist Keynes argued in a paper called Economic Possibilities for Our Grandchildren that within a few generations, GDP would be eight to tenfold what it was in his own day and that people would have the ability to live lives mostly of leisure. Maybe they would work for a few hours a day. Now, Keynes was actually right about what happened. Our economy is something like eight to 10 times as large as it was in his own day. And yet, people work more hours than ever before. What does this say about human nature? And pretend that you're Keynes today. Do you think that human society will ever reach a state such that its economy produces enough that humans reach contentment? Does this mean that Hobbes is right in his argument that there is no finis ultimus, that there is no ultimate end that human beings can ever achieve? 